Hey everyone, welcome back and happy holidays. I have another Christmas chalkboard idea to share with you guys today, so I hope you enjoy. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And I also am sharing a couple of other chalkboard ideas for Christmas on my channel, so make sure you come check that out and subscribe. For today's video, we are gonna be using a piece of chalk that we sharpen with a pencil sharpener. And we're gonna get started by writing Merry Christmas in faux calligraphy. If you're not familiar with faux calligraphy, all that means is that you're gonna thicken up your downstrokes. I have a video on that, and that video also includes tips and tricks for beginner chalk art, so I will link that in a card as well as down below in the description box. But back to this video, I'm working on writing Mary right now, and I chose not to use guides because I want my chalkboard to look very hand-lettered, very whimsical and fun and bouncy. I don't want strict baselines. I'm choosing to skip guides today and just going right in eyeballing it. Um, if you wanna use guides, you can absolutely set those up with a ruler. Again, that chalk video I mentioned before will show you how to use guides. And then once I get my faux calligraphy done with Mary, I added a serif, which is just that little line at the end of those strokes that you see. So next we have to write Christmas. And again, we are just gonna go in with the style of lettering that we want. Again, this is a chalkboard, so utilize your erasers. A lot of the times I use my fingers, as you can see. But I also will be using Q-tips and paper towels in this video. So again, while you are doing your lettering, I wanna encourage you to relax and just have fun with it because I think that's how the best results come about. And as you can see, anytime you have any problems, you can just erase it. Like chalkboards are the best. They are totally stress-free. So again, I am just going in now that I've got Christmas down in the style of lettering that I want, and I'm thickening my downstrokes. Very simple. And I am going to be adding serifs to this word as well. I just think it's so fun and whimsical. So you can totally leave your Christmas chalkboard like this if you want to, but I'm gonna go in and add some more design elements that are Christmassy. <laughs> I'm gonna draw snowflakes in little clusters all over my board. And for this first one, I am going to draw an asterisk that has eight points, and then draw a little V at the top of each point and one underneath. For the second snowflake, I am going to draw another asterisk, again with eight points, and then draw tiny little circles on the end of each point. And then for the last snowflake, this is gonna be the most complicated. It's gonna be a circle that's filled in in the center, and then we're gonna have four lines that are longer, and then four lines that are shorter in a pattern. On the shorter lines, we're gonna draw V's at the end, and on the longer lines, we are going to draw a sandwich that is a V and then a circle and then another V. I did end up lengthening my shorter lines a little bit and adding a second V on the tip of those as well. So I like to just add my snowflakes and clusters around the board, keeping the same snowflake repetitively so that it doesn't get too complicated for the eye. And then I'm going back in to add depth with just small asterisks that are supposed to be like tinier snowflakes that are further away and then little polka dots that are really really small snowflakes that's it for today's chalkboard thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you spending some time with me today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to come check out my channel so that you can see the rest of my christmas videos including two other christmas chalkboard ideas i will see you guys very soon and happy holidays